that trans stop part for the oil filter adapter. We're just going to give uh, the 5.7 a little push over to the uh, shop. And uh, I'm going to take the old adapter off. Jeff's our professional driver today. And then uh, we're going to show you the differences between the old one and the new one. We'll be uh, right back. Okay, we're back at the spot of where it died last time. Jeff's just unpackaging the transdap. The new oil filter adapter unit. We're back. We're back here at Tom's shop. Yeah. Hope this one works. This one will work. It's going to be a lot better than the other one. And all these these items here to work with. Yeah, that's going to be the only difference. Yeah, they sent us a different part number, but we're going to figure out if it's still going to make sense. So we're gonna get that there, grab some jack stands, do the elevation thing and uh, change it out. Yep, and then you can drive it home. Yeah, then I'm gonna drive it and it might do something again. We'll find out. All right, in a second. Okay guys, we got the car up here. And yes, just so everybody knows, we are safe. Okay, I showed you in the last video this uh, this is the unit we got uh, first the one that failed and what was going on is uh, this is like some kind of fabric or foam or something like that this was actually pushed out last time I took it off and it was under pressure and it would kicked this to the outside so I had actually, I glued this on to hold it in place, as you can see. The glue I used was pretty wicked. Well, Tom's glue. The guy's got everything here. So that's a, a pretty, those are two seriously weak points. And we were having an oil pressure issue with uh, the car where we had uh, 40 pounds when we started cold. And all of a sudden it would go away. And we're hoping that this is, was the problem. The new one's completely different. It's a whole different design. Uh, so you have your your adapter that goes into up into the block initially. Uh, this particular one came with five sixteenths bolts, but it's for a different year application. Sixty eight and up apparently. Yeah, and th and this two eighty three is apparently out of a sixty four. So the only difference is quarter inch is what we need compared to the uh, 5 16 So we got two quarter inch bolts that are the same length. So they're gonna work just fine. That's gonna hold everything into place. And there's actually gonna be room to get a, a socket on there. I don't know how they planned on doing that with this. It, there's no way a socket would have worked. That would have been a wrench only deal, which would not be, would not be a good time, I'm sure. So this goes up first into the block with the gasket and then we have this uh it's the threaded nipple portion that you can see there's a knurled section in here so it's basically only going to thread to a certain point and then stop so we'll thread that into there until it locks we should probably put something on there you put some loctite we'll put on some it. loctite on it i'm just going to turn this around here guys give me a second uh no i'm not there's no dot to do that Okay, anyway, carry on. Carry on. Camera guy. So once this is placed into the bottom of the block like so, like such, then this actually, the nice thing about this is, as you can see, there's an actual shelf on here where this one didn't have any anything to support it. So this would just go right against the block and then it, it could fall out. I'll, I'll show you the block in the mounting pad in case you guys don't know what we're talking about here. So yeah, this this rubber gasket is going to go on the outside of this where it's going to sit nice. And then once this is in place, like I said, 
this will go up this will seal against the bottom portion where the canister filter used to sit and then there's this nut that would go on the inside tighten it up obviously and then our new filter which is actually quite a bit different uh, pad size or the uh, the gasket size this is a small block Chevy this is from a Ford uh, it's a PH 8A so and then obviously you know obviously we're gonna oil this up install the filter quarter turn pass tight and put some more oil in the motor and uh, should be good. fired up and then we'll see what's going on so this is a way better design than uh, this other one. This one came from, from Transadapt. Transadapt? Yeah. And this one, it's just some no name, not gonna mention any kind of ethnicity. Is that a word? Yeah, it probably is. Yeah. Okay, there you can see that center pad. That's where this guy, I'm gonna try and do this here. Uh, hold the camera and bear with me. Get a hand under there. So that guy goes bolts into those two holes here with that gasket. So now that's a positive seal where the other one was, uh, it was the seal was being controlled by that fabric stuff. And then that O-ring sits on this, this little ring, this little shelf in here. And it would, it would jump out of here because it didn't have uh, that other. So now it's going to have a shelf on both sides, one here and then one on the other piece like we we're showing you before. So uh, that's what that looks like. So we're gonna start assembling this and uh, you're gonna have to take our word for it that we're doing it because uh, we're underneath the car. So here's proof. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, Loctite installed on the three quarter inch threaded nipple into that adapter. 13 sixteenths. 13 sixteenths, my mistake. Three quarter was the Three quarters this guy. Being bombarded by wasps. Oh, this is not doing it. Needed. This needs to be. That's poked. Loved. Holy bit moly. Hasn't been used for a while. What's the shelf date on this thing? Uh, until it's not flexible anymore. Okay, we're still good. <laughs> not quite happening. Not as of yet. There we go. Squeeze it up a bit. Perfect. Chunks. Chunks to begin with. We don't want that in there. It smells like silicone. I'm not going to taste it, Dave. Come on. It's good for you. I don't think so. Just doing this for extra insurance that uh, that's going to stay where we want it. We always think that's a good idea. Be a little excessive, but nothing on the inside. That and then our two quarter inch fasteners here up into the block. We're gonna Loctite those as well. Yes. Stay. Do we have a socket for this? Yep, right here. Excellent. Alright. I'll go under and make some magic happen. Yeah, I'll just do a little, a little wiper on the side of Yeah. I'll do that when I get underneath. Okay. Jeff's going in there, we'll be back in a second. I don't want to go super, super tight being that it's a just a 
Not an actual nut, eh? Just a retainer, basically. Yeah. Can you grab this and show the yeah. kids at home what's going on? All right. So, there you have it. Uh, bolted the adapter in underneath it. And then I put this, uh, the new base plate, I guess you would call it. And we oiled the, the gasket around it just, just to make sure it's going to seal properly. This, oh shoot, I'm not even pointing where I'm supposed to be. Uh, this nut here, I didn't crank on it horribly simply because it's it's not really a nut. It's more of a retainer, and I didn't obviously didn't want to strip it out because I'm not going to find anything that's going to fit that. That's going to clear the filter it. Filter will tighten it up too. And the filter is going to help hold it all together as well, so it's not going to fall off. So here's the filter if you want. And there's the filter. Is it? It's oiled. Yep. Oil filter is oiled. Uh. thought we had an issue right there with that bolt in the back but it seems to be clearing I'm just gonna holding the camera with my right hand flipping it this on with my left hand and I'm right-handed so that's how this is working yeah I know you doesn't want to go on Dave cross threads better than no thread yeah throw there she goes Throw some dugga duggas in it. Oh, there. Okay. So I'm tight. And quarter of a turn. A little more. Excellent. And that, whoa, sorry guys. That should solve our problem. I'm going to top her up with oil, fire it up, and see what happens. Back to Dave. Dave knees. All right. It's all together. We're gonna. Uh, We're gonna try to get the key to go in the ignition. Okay. I don't know if the battery's on. Uh, get any juice? Uh, that's a negative. Okay. Hang on. Now. I took the key out of the ignition. Oh. I don't know why. Hang on. You know what? I got the positive off in the trunk too. Yeah. Okay, well here, that's why I took the keys out. This will help. Alright, let's try that. Try that again? Yeah. Maybe we should get a new ignition switch. Maybe. Come around and look at the oil pressure gauge. Positive sign, eh? Yeah, so far so good. Yeah. There she goes. Perfect. Okay, we got. Uh, oh, took a little filter filter there. Yeah. Nice and dry. Before it was just that thing would just shoot oil out like crazy. Fire it up, Jeff.
With all that being said, what's the tech tip for today, Jeff? <laughs> Buy quality parts. Uh, again, I'm not going to say where this other product came from, but stick with uh, stick with parts that you can trust. Obviously, Transdapt has a way superior adapter system for these old engines, and clearly. Clearly it made a huge difference. So that is what we're, uh, that's our suggestion. He's not wrong. <laughs> stick stick with North America if you can. And if you can't, then you know, you're know you gonna learn like we did. So yeah. we're just, that's what we're doing the tech tip today is show you guys uh, what problems you can have. And that oil pressure thing that we got going on is because we're not very nice to this engine. No. If you watch some of the other videos, you'll figure that out. So we're not worried about it. We get around to it, we'll maybe throw some bearings in it, but probably not. It's probably gonna get a different heart, like a heart transplant. But uh, like, share, subscribe, tell your buddies, and send your location. Appreciate it, put you on the map. Have a good one. Talk to you guys later.